all right welcome back um uh, now we're going to be diving into the feature that anaconda brings so you'll see a new folder anaconda 3 click on it and what we'll be using is the jupyter notebook this is what's optimized for python the rest i think spider is for java and this just gives you more options that you can explore on your own but as for this course we'll be concerned with jupyter notebooks so I want you to click on that. This will bring up another terminal type thing. You don't have to touch this. It'll open a new tab inside your browser. Uh, and and the this is basically a file explorer. This is Jupyter. You're looking at Jupyter right now. And it's open up to the user directory. What the user directory is, is basically um, this this one you want to you into C drive you go to users and over here mine happens to be user but your your will be your name or the account name of whoever uses the computer and this is the folder that we're on right now as you can see 3d objects 3d objects anaconda 3 anaconda 3 so this is the folder that we're in right now in inside of Jupyter over here I want you to choose a folder that will be your testing grounds as I like to say so I'm gonna go into documents I'm gonna go into programming and I'm gonna make a new folder over here a new folder uh, you can't read rename folders over here because this isn't meant for you to edit your file tree or interact with it this just helps you navigate uh, your file tree to look for Python to look for Jupyter notebooks and a notebook is this file you go to new under notebooks you click python 3 and it'll and it'll open a new tab under the heading of a jupyter notebook now this is similar in ways to the console in that you can uh, write python code over here but if i press enter i'm about to press enter it didn't run the code it added a new line what this means is that this little box over here is called a cell in Jupyter Notebook this little box allows for more than one line per per run so basically I can do two things at a time one I can get the result of one plus one and print out hello world at the same time now I can keep pressing enter and it won't run it'll just keep adding new lines to run it I have to hold shift and then press enter there I got my two outputs there's a whole bunch of keyboard shortcuts that'll help you um, use use Jupyter Notebook faster but shift and enter is the most u the most important one because it, it helps you run the cells um, why we're using Jupyter Notebook is because let's say I have a I have a bunch of cells okay so print uh, more stuff and then there's let's um, <laughs> see this is why the keyboard shortcuts are helpful if I want to insert a cell below if I want to insert a cell below I press B so there's a cell and I'm going to do print um, even more stuff okay let's let's pretend that this is a multi-million dollar application that we're running and someone made a mistake in the middle if this was uh, if this was a Python file what this would do is that every time you run it it run from start to finish and so uh, how it would run is that it would run this line first and then this line and then this line and then this line and it'll show you all your outputs at the same time and as it's going through this line by line a dot py a python file not a notebook is going to run into this error and what's going to happen is my program will crash on this error and it'll never reach this line and even in um, the python console I can't I can't go back to um, edit mistakes that I've made so if I were to do make that typo over here typo my program crashed but I cannot go back to fix it I'm pressing backspace I'm typing the up arrow it just brings it back so what this means is that I have to do it again 
correctly for it to work I cannot go back to edit this but in a, in a Jupyter notebook I can go back to edit whatever I want so let's say that I want to test each of these features um, separately so I'm basically resetting my stuff um, just uh, just one second there it's, it's, it's been reset my output let's say I want to test each of these features and to, and I know that it's gonna fail over here but even so I want to see what this bit does so I run this I run this so this gave me an error but I but I can but in a Jupyter notebook I can ignore this error and I can go move on to the next stuff and I get my answer over here now to go back and fix this I can even do that I can fix this and then I can run it again and that and this is the power of Jupyter notebook basically allowing you to edit line by line code and allowing you to skip errors entirely to focus mainly on the bigger picture so you don't get bogged down by just one error um, so yeah that's why we'll be using this to basically test out the large projects when we get to them in this course and then converting it over to a python file and in the next video i'll explore what a python file is but first to close out of a jupyter notebook you can save this notebook as whatever you want so test one and save uh, oh yeah you have to include the extension ipy nb nb stands for notebook um just just one second familiar with this why is this not working anyway um i'll show you how to save it later when i figure it out for myself but uh to close out of this i want you to go not cl not close out of the tab but do close and halt because the python.exe interpreter is running in the back to interpret your code so you're gonna want to stop that and to stop that you hit close and halt that closes out of that tab and then you can close out of the Jupyter, the one we opened from the Anaconda folder by hitting Control C over here. This will kill that process and now you cannot use Ju the Jupyter Notebook interface as open in your browser. If I try to open the notebook again, it, it won't open. If I try to go back to these folders, I can't because Jupyter isn't open to communicate with the file explorer anymore. So yeah, basically that's just something to keep in mind to help you close out of Jupyter properly. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video to learn about Python files.